Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another flipped classroom tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at sending bulk emails such as newsletters, announcements or product information, all using Gmail. See, Gmail now has a built in mail merge. That means you can take all the information from a spreadsheet and just have it pre populate your email using the information and that data in the spreadsheets that you have. So this is incredibly useful and I'm going to use the example of a school announcement. I'm going to announce to all the students which house they will be in next year and I'm going to pull all that data straight from a spreadsheet. Now this is a premium feature of Google Workspace and so you can see all the different versions of Google Workspace that has access to this feature. Let's jump into it. Here in my Gmail, I'm going to go to the Compose window and I'm going to start composing a new email. So let's go ahead and click our subject, let's say announcement of next year's house and then we're just going to start typing our email but before i do that let's link it or connect it to our data source to that spreadsheet here in the recipients window i'm going to click on that and then in the top right corner i now have a new icon that says use mail merge let's click on that this will allow us to activate this. We're going to enable mail merge and everything turns purple. This is to highlight the fact that I'm using a mail merge. We're going to add the information from a spreadsheet. So it's going to open up our Google Drive and I already have that spreadsheet ready, sample data of students. Here you can see it's going to ask me which columns do you want to pull in now? So I'm going to send the email to the email column. Let's have a look at that sample spreadsheet so you can see what information I have in there. Here I have a column that has the emails, the student's name, the gender, the class level, the house, and which extracurricular activity they are part of. So let's go ahead and jump back in here and let's use the email column. There we go. We're going to pull the name from the student name and it's giving us a preview here. So you can see this is what it will look like too. Alexandra and then her email address, Andrew, and again, that email address. We're going to click on finish. Now, this is only step one. So what it's going to do is it's automatically going to send that email to everyone in the spreadsheet, but we can do even more. We can now access all the other information in that spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and start drafting our email. Dear, let's put that student's name in there again. Let's go to at, and we can pull in the student's name. Dear student, there we go. I am pleased to announce that for next year, you will be part of the, and now we need that house name, that you will be part of the, at, and now we're going to pull in the house. House. Looking forward to another great year as you move into, and now we're going to pull in that year group. Let's go ahead and pull in the class level, kind regards, and my name. Now let's preview this. So you can see here, it's going to pull in that student's name. You can preview that. It's going to pull in the student's house and the student's class level. Now when I'm ready to send out all these emails, I can go to the bottom and click on continue. Once I've done that, it's going to ask me if I want to make sure that everything looks the way it should look. And if I would like to receive a example or a preview email, I do want that. So let's go ahead and send that preview. This will automatically generate a preview, send it to my own inbox. This is a great way of double checking that everything looks the way you want it to look. So let's have a look at that preview. Here in my inbox, we have our test message announcement of next year's house. We're going to open that up. And you can see it's pre-populated everything with that information from our spreadsheet. So we have our student name, we have the name of the house, and it's automatically pre-populated the year group they are moving into. So this is incredibly helpful. I now know that it works. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And then we're going to send all. All these emails are now being sent out from within Gmail. This is a built-in mail merge, incredibly helpful. I hope you found this helpful as well. Let me know in that comment section below, when would you use this? How might you use this? And is this something that you were doing with an extension or an add-on that you can now eliminate and do from within Gmail? I look forward to hearing all of those different use cases in the comment section. 
In the meantime, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to that channel, hit that bell notification, all the good stuff, so you can be notified of even more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.